Good morning, everybody, and it is 4.06 a.m. my time in Iowa, and uh, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, click the like if you want. I don't uh, come on as saying, you know, subscribe or hit the like button. It does. I just say it does help my channel, which it does help all the channels if you like and if you subscribe, uh, but I always leave it up to you. You know, it's your choice. And it's like freedom of speech and freedom of choice and hang in there. <laughs> All right, this will be my last uh, video for this AM. And uh, we're going to start out here with COVID overload. Fucci might be brought into court. The Republicans in national elections have vowed to investigate and prosecute Anthony Fucci the director of NIAID for his crimes against humanity. Unfortunately, despite the various actions that the Republicans have taken, they are unlikely to follow through on their pledges to investigate and prosecute Fuji. Many of them are compromised by the donations that they received from big pharmaceutical companies. <clears throat> According to the office of Congressman Eric Schmidt, the government has been exerting tremendous pressure on social media companies to suppress certain information related to the COVID-19 case. This is a clear violation of the First Amendment's free speech guaranteed. I can't understand why uh, I got so much green behind me. My, my walls are not that, not that deep green. I just noticed that. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. Uh, Fucci reportedly had direct communication with Mark Zuckerberg, the head of Facebook. Through this line of communication, Fucci was able to influence the company's policy on COVID misinformation. This is a role that he was not authorized to perform and is both unconstitutional and unethical. <clears throat> Fucci's extensive list of crimes goes beyond the First Amendment's free speech violations, convening him to appear in court in an excellent start, as it would allow the authorities to question him, get him to answer questions that his corporate media friends would never ask. If he lies, he should be prosecuted for perjury. <clears throat> if Fucci is truly an enemy combatant, combatant, then he should be brought to trial and charged as a war criminal. This would allow the authorities to properly investigate and prosecute him for his crimes. The proceeding is a summary of an article that originally appeared on PJ Media. <clears throat> uh, this is where I've got to emphasize uh, I have no words because I got in trouble with what I said one time. So, I'll leave that up to you readers. And I'm sure there will be more out about it. That's all I'm going to say. Let's find... That was a real short video, so let's see if we can find another one here. And um, let's put this one up here. Get it out of my road. And I will pick another one here. And this one here um, is uh, Ma uh, Megan McCain speaks up, says this is the end. Megan McCain reports final nail in Trump's coffin. Here we go with poor Trump again. According to Megan McCain, the R I N O, nepotism baby. The next midterm elections should serve as the final nail in the political coffin containing former President Donald Trump's legacy. McCain made these comments in an opinion piece published in the Daily Mail on Wednesday. Now this must be an old one. Um, I wish they'd date them. I really do. I always like to see the dates. But this is way past the midterm uh, elections now. Uh, but have all the ballots been counted? 
it seems to me earlier I should have um, got that one the article and I should have uh, paid more attention to it I do believe that they're still counting votes in some states oh well, whatever McCain made these comments an opinion piece published on the Daily Mail on Wednesday uh, John McCain's angry daughter said this would go down in history as a gigantic warning flag and hopefully a strong case against the idea that President Donald Trump represents the future of the GOP. She wrote that many Republicans were unsuccessful in winning an election that should not have been lost, and they only blame themselves. McCain remains that she is a Republican, although she frequently seems more concerned with appeasing the left and complaining about Trump. In the opinion piece, she ironically referred to the Republican Party as my party. Trump's, Trump's Make America Great Again campaign is a cancer, and it is destroying my party. Oh. And this ought to be the final nail in his coffin, McCain added. Boy, she got a gripe. <clears throat> she get up on the wrong side of the bed or something? <laughs> wow. She said it would appear that Trump had a talent for selecting unsuccessful candidates. Well, they've all kind of, in a way, made that mistake. Can't just pin that on Trump. <laughs> for heaven's sakes, where's she been? President Trump does not play the role of kingmaker. In fact, he plays the opposite role. McCain gave Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in his unequivocal support and endorsement. She said the Republican Party is not a cult led by Trump. The voters have made it quite clear what they want from their party, and the party must provide it to them, McCain wrote. The Harris made of the most of the chance to speak out in support of Liz Cheney, a fellow non-conservative and a disgraced politician. She voiced her dis dissatisfaction by stating that too frequently they look the other way, only taking cues from Trump and expelling others like Congresswoman Liz Cheney from her job in leadership. Oh, that's what this is about. Hmm. <clears throat> I did some articles earlier, earlier, a month or so ago about that. McCain also suggested that people who supported Trump were ignorant. <laughs> McCain stated in her letter to put it in lingo that anyone in Trump land can understand. They're a bunch of losers. What have we been for the past two years? Can she answer that one? I really hope that we can right the ship before it's too late, and I really hope that Ron DeSantis is the one steering it. Well, I want Ron, I support Ron DeSantis as vice president, and I want Trump back in as president. I don't know. We'll see. Put this one up here. My gosh, I'm beginning to see my desktop. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh my goodness, but I have so much enjoyment doing this. With the good and bad, you know. All right, let's try this one. Now, this one, you never hear much about Dick Cheney, do you? Well, Dick Cheney insulted 70% of the Wyoming voters in an attack ad for his daughter's campaign. Hmm. Trump-backed attorney Harriet Hagman is leading Liz Cheney by nearly 30 points in Wyoming's upcoming U.S. House Republican primary. In an act of total desperation, desperation, Liz Cheney turned, excuse me, turned to her father to save her floundering campaign. But Dick Cheney just insulted 70% of Wyoming voters in an attack ad for his daughter's campaign. Former President Donald Trump made defeating Rhino Representative Liz Cheney, Republican of Wyoming, one of his top priorities this election. I know there's a lot of hostility there. 
that really don't need to be there, you know, in my book, but who am I? I just read the news. <laughs> That's all I do. Not only did Cheney vote to impeach Donald Trump, but she also happily agreed to serve as vice chair of the January 6th witch hunt. This did not sit well with Wyoming voters. And with the state's August 16 primary just around the corner, Trump back to turning Harriet Hageman is crushing Representative Cheney by nearly 30 points, according to the recent polling. But never one to admit she's wrong, the Congresswoman isn't giving up just yet. Representative Cheney's campaign recently sent a letter to every Democrat in Wyoming with instructions on how they could cross over and vote for her in the Republican primary. Now she's calling on her father, former Vice President Dick Cheney, to help her gain ground with Republican voters in Wyoming. However, Liz Cheney made a major miscalculation with the ad by having her father pretend to be a tough guy as he attacked and smeared Donald Trump. In our nation's 246-year history, there has never been an individual who is greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump, Dick Cheney begins. He tried to steal the last election using lies and violence to keep himself in power after the voters had rejected him. The former vice president, who may consider the most hatred vice president in history, then called Donald, Donald Trump a coward, accused him of not being a real man. He is a coward, Cheney said, before adding that a real man wouldn't lie to his supporters. Dick then asked voters to support his daughter because there is nothing more important she will ever do than lead the effort to make sure Donald Trump is never near the Oval Office again. Attacking Donald Trump with left-wing talking points is not exactly what anyone would call a winning strategy in Wyoming. After all, it's possibly the most conservative state in America handing Donald Trump his largest margins of victory in any other state in the both the 2016 and 2020 elections. In 2020 alone, Donald Trump won an astounding 70% of the vote in Wyoming. Representative Liz Cheney tried to save her campaign by running an ad featuring her father attacking the man who 70% of her constituents stand behind. And she will pay the price for it on August 16th. And that's August 16th. Uh, stay tuned in Conservative on Ground News for any updates on this ongoing story. Now, August 16th, I didn't see any articles. Did anybody else see any articles about this situation? I wish this had a date on it, but I know it's, it's in this year, you know. Um... I'll have to look into this a little bit further because I want to know. She will pay the price for it on August 16th. Hmm. Okay. Well, God bless you all. Thank you for stopping in. Give somebody a blessing because you have been blessed. A lot of us don't have a lot of stuff. A lot of money to live on. It gets worse every 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 month. It seems like lately. It, it, it's unexplainable. Prices are so high right now, and we get EBT. Thank God for that. I've always praised that. But EBT don't buy rent, utilities, water car insurance, house payments, land tax, but at least we get to eat. Praise God. You are a blessing. Laters. <laughs>